Hello all, I am uh, Dr. Manoj Jayapath. I am a specialist in uh, gastrointestinal surgery. That is the surgery which deals with tummy problems. That is the problems inside your tummy. I am from Kerala, India. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss with you few points regarding uh, gallbladder stones. That are stones which are formed in the gallbladder. So who all can get gallbladder stones? Generally gallbladder stones are formed in females. So females got more chance of having gallbladder stones after the age of 45 to 50. So it can be present in males also. So what are the causes of having gallbladder stones? The gallbladder stones can be uh, in obese patients. That are those patients who are obese. Those patients who lose weight suddenly and various other unhealthy diet, loss of exercise, no exercise, such are the causes of uh, gallbladder stones. So gallbladder stones can be cholesterol stones or there is another variety known as pigment stones. The pigment stones contains bilirubin. So those patients who got high levels of cholesterol in your bile, you can have uh, gallbladder stones or those patients who have high level of pigments that is bilirubin in your bile such patients also can have pigment stones and various other rare disorders also can cause gallbladder stones so what are the problems with gallbladder stones they have sudden abdominal pain a symptomatic gallbladder stone will have sudden pain on the right side of the abdomen that goes to your back or will come to your lower part of your chest and it is very tightening and severe pain you can have vomiting and sometimes you will get jaundice or fever or uh, vomiting or such uh, symptoms. So these are the uh, problems of gallbladder stones. Sometimes these gallbladder stones can cause complications like it may produce infection. So it will produce cholecystitis, a complete condition known as acute cholecystitis in which there is infection. Later on, sometimes the stone will jump out of the gallbladder into the bile duct. So what is bile duct? Bile duct is the tube which takes bile from the liver to your small intestine. So sometimes this stone will jump out of the gallbladder and goes and blocks this bile duct. In such cases, patient will have jaundice and your bile duct infection spreads to the liver. It will produce a condition known as cholangitis. Sometimes this stone goes and blocks the pancreatic duct producing acute pancreatitis. These are a few complications of uh, gallbladder stones. So what you should do when you have a sudden onset of pain on the right side, if you have these symptoms, you meet a surgeon immediately at your local hospital. So what he will do, as soon as you go there, he will do the blood test, then he will submit you for ultrasound scan. The blood test basically is to see whether there is any infection on the, he will assess your liver function test. Is there any abnormality in the liver function test? And he will do an ultrasound. Ultrasound is to know what is the diagnosis. And it is a very good investigation which you can find out where the stones are, whether it is in the gallbladder or whether it has come out to the bile duct or is it causing some problems like pancreatitis. If the stones are only in the gallbladder, then he will ask you to undergo surgery. And what are the surgeries? Surgeries may be open surgery and laparoscopic surgery. In Nowadays, all the people will do laparoscopic surgery because it is painless. So you get admitted in the morning, by evening you can get discharged. So what is laparoscopic surgery? You will make few holes, goes inside and remove the gallbladder and it will come out. So it is a very painless surgery and you can join back to your work as soon as possible, maybe within 2-3 days. So uh, what are the other problems and its pro uh, complications? Sometimes these gallbladder stone patients will have something called, called gallstone dyspepsia. See, in a patient with gallbladder stones, you can't eat fatty food. You get averse of, when you see fatty food, you say, no, I don't want this. So such will be the problem. In such cases also, you can undergo surgery and you will get rid of it and you can have a good digestion. Sometimes you have increased flatulence. Your will be, uh, abdomen will be full of gas. In such cases, it is, a, uh, it is gall, again gallstone dyspepsia. In that condition, you have to undergo surgery to get rid of it. 
and uh, let us see how you deal with the complications. Sometimes it will be acute cholecystitis that is infection there. There also you have to immediately undergo surgery and remove your gallbladder. Sometimes if you are an old age patient, you may not be able to do surgery. In such cases, you make a, not a small tube into your gallbladder and take out the pus. Sometimes you have a grievous complications like pancreatitis. In such cases, you have to get admitted in the hospital and to be under another specialist care that is a hepatopancreatic biliary surgical care. You should be there. Should, a surgeon should be there to care you. In such cases, you will be admitted there. Maybe you will be kept in the ICU. It will be a CT scan or MRI uh, should be done and see how much pancreas is, uh, is destroyed and your treatment depends on that. Or otherwise, generally, uh, gallstones uh, produce minimum complications. Thus, they'll have pain. So once you have pain, you immediately visit the doctor. And if you advise a surgery, please undergo surgery. Don't take any other natural or other alternative treatment. You undergo surgery, and within a day, you'll be all right. And two, three days, you can go back to work. So these are the few points uh, of gallstone and its complications. And uh, the again once again i wish you should watch uh, the video recommend this video to your friends and uh, please subscribe by pressing the bell button which is given in the bottom end of the uh, video thank you once again thanks